right, for these simulations, you're going to tap on the link here, and then you will probably have to put in your user, your student number, and your password. And this one is about ion formation. And so you're going to be um, creating ions. This introduction you can read, or you can even click this little speaker in the top right corner and it'll speak to you. Atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So you can use that. I'm going to click next and then read that. You can have it speak to you again and then continue. And now what we're going to do is create um, ions, stable ions of these atoms. So here in the middle I see lithium with its three electrons because the lithium's atomic number is three. And I'm going to think about what kind of ion would it want to, to make. And so I think it could either gain seven, because I know they want eight. Maybe you're already ahead of me and saying, no, nothing gains seven. But if you try it, um, I need one more electron. I'm dragging them over. The charge would be negative seven. And then if I click check ion over here at the bottom left, it says that's not correct. Try removing electrons from the outermost shell. And again, I can have it speak to me. That's not correct. Try removing electrons. So I'm going to remove and think about this again. And actually, I'm going to click reset because that was faster. So that was this button here in the bottom left. So instead of adding seven, if I remove one, And it says check ion here. That's correct. You have formed a lithium ion. Note the charge and click below to identify the lithium ion as a cation or anion. All right, I see charge plus one. So that must be, I'm thinking cats have paws. Cats are positive. So I'm going to say cation. That's correct. Then up here in the corner, it, where it says select I, atoms, I can choose some different atoms and try it again. Again, thinking about what would it do to be stable? Would it gain or lose? Then I click check ion in the corner. And then reset if I want to start over. So I'd like you to play around with that game for a bit. And then um, the next game looks like this. In this one, we're going to use ions and make them bond. As we know, a positive cation and a negative anion will bond. And again, you can have this read to you by pressing the speaker button and read the next one. And then now, we're going to make these ions bond, drag and drop valence electrons to build bonds. So I see how this yellow sodium has an extra electron. I'm pulling it over and I'm gonna put it on this chlorine cause it needs one. And I see now the sodium looks stable with eight in its valence shell and the chlorine looks stable. And now I'm going to press check. And it says, you have correctly transferred the electrons. Now view an animation of the ionic bond and the crystal lattice structure. So ionic compounds are like salts, or are salts like salt, and how salt is a crystal. Inside of the salt crystals, the atoms are arranged like this. And there is, um, there's lots you can read and listen to here. Now let's try one where it's um, not a one-to-one -one ratio because this was one Na and one Cl and then both were happy. But let's try uh, if we have magnesium in the yellow and Cl. Now if I drag one of these from magnesium, my chlorine looks stable. And if I try to give it another one, it won't take it. So that's where if you look at the top here, this button that says add, I could add a magnesium or I could add a chlorine. If I add a magnesium, that doesn't really help matters because now I just have more electrons to deal with. 
So instead, what if I add a chlorine? Now notice how this chlorine needs another electron, and I'm going to bring it. And now check. You have correctly transferred the electrons. View the animation, and it shows how two chlorine and one magnesium come together, and they have a crystal structure as well. So spend some time playing with both those games, um, maybe 10 minutes or so, or whatever you feel. Um, at least 10 minutes would be great, and then move on to the next uh, activity.